So in this problem, we have a solid metallic sphere, and we're told that the charge of this sphere is Q and the radius is A. So first of all, what is the electric field right outside of the surface of the sphere? Well, we can draw a Gaussian surface right outside the surface of the sphere. And if we write down Gauss's law, this relates the electric field at the Gaussian surface to the charge inside the Gaussian surface. So we have the electric field at the Gaussian surface times the area of the Gaussian surface equals the charge inside divided by epsilon naught. And we know the area of the Gaussian surface right outside the surface. So we could just calculate the field right outside the surface. It's this. Okay, so the problem had already told us this, so we know the electric field right outside the surface of the metal sphere. But what if we know that the surface charge density is sigma? Sigma is equal to charge divided by area. So charge divided by 4 pi r squared. If we plug this into our expression for the electric field, we find the electric field is just sigma divided by epsilon naught. So it's not divided by 2 epsilon naught, it's just sigma divided by epsilon naught. So let's, let's consider this situation. If we have an infinite plane that has a surface charge density, okay, so surface charge density is sigma. So the electric field points away from the plane in both directions. For an infinite plane, this is how the electric field looks, pointing away from the plane in, in both directions. But in the case of uh, the metallic sh shell that we have now, or the metallic sphere, we have an electric field on one side and then it's zero on the other side. So the electric field inside the sphere is zero because it's a metal, and electric fields in the metals in the metal are zero, but outside it's not zero. So that's why it's different. 